Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm craving something sweet yet crunchy. So today we are going to make a very easy yet delicious sweet khaja. For this, I have taken here two cups of refined flour. We can use wheat flour also. Sieve a little so that there will be no lumps. Two teaspoon of powder sugar. One teaspoon of lemon juice. Combined everything well. Now I am adding one tablespoon of salted butter. Instead of butter, you can use clarify butter, ghee. One tip here, just to give a crispy taste, do not add any type of oil. Also, whenever you are using clarify butter or ghee, add a pinch of salt. Add a little water as required to make a soft dough. Cling wrap the dough and let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. Until our dough is resting, we'll make a sugar syrup. In a pan, take 1 cup of sugar, 1 cup of water. Let it boil on a medium flame for about 15 to 20 minutes or until you'll get a sticky consistency. Stir whenever it's required so that sugar will not stick in the pan. Add 1 third teaspoon of cardamom powder. Squeeze a little lemon. Like half teaspoon of lemon is enough. Now our sugar syrup is ready. As you can see, our sticky consistency has been formed. Switch off the flame and let it cool completely. Now knead the dough for about 2 to 3 minutes. Divide the dough into equal size. If you feel your dough has not perfect consistency, if it's too hard, you can add a little water and knead the dough for about 5 to 7 minutes and it's ready to go. And we can always add more flour if it's too soft. And again let it rest for about 10 minutes and it's ready to use. Now start rolling as big as you can, as thin as you can, as shown in video. Now our big roti is ready. We are going to dust some refined flour. Spread equally. And start rolling as shown in video. Press a little. Dust a little refined flour whenever it's required. So now we are going to glue it with the water. So take some water. Dip your fingers into it and spread it. Now close the side and make sure that no sides are open. Now start cutting in an equal size with the help of knife. If you feel your edge has not been sticked properly, dip your finger into water and stick again. This is a very important step otherwise while frying our khaja will open and it will not look good. Pressing a little with the light hand so that there will be no gap. Now I am going to fry this into a oil. If you want you can fry it into clarify butter or ghee. In a pan add some oil once oil start heating start adding your khaja into it keep the gas flame on medium change the side whenever it's required and let it cook until you'll get the golden brown color now our perfect khaja is ready take it out and let it cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes after it has rested for about 10 to 15 minutes, start adding our khaja into sugar syrup and keep it aside for about 2 to 3 hours. Our perfect, very tasty and beautiful khaja is ready. I hope you liked today's video. If you like it, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.